I'm now to talk health, and today Dr. Trudy Pieper is discussing food dates. Mm. Do you ever wonder if that item in your refrigerator is still good? What does the date on the packaging really mean? Well, Jennifer talked with Dr. Trudy to help us all navigate what is safe to eat and what needs to be pitched. Well, maybe you've said this to your children or it was told to you when you were a child. Eat that because somebody in another country would love to have that food. Really, you just wanted to throw it in the trash. Well, now as an adult, I have some bad news for you. You're probably throwing a little more in the trash these days than you even realize. Some food, which is perfectly good, healthy food, that has not expired, even if you think it has. And that is our topic for our health segment today with Dr. Trudy Pieper. We are talking about food labels, how to read them, how to understand them, and when we really do need to throw that food away. It's so difficult when you think about the billions of pounds of foods, 160 mm -hmm. billion pounds of food are wasted each year in the United States. Wow. Um, it's hard, all that going to landfills. The only thing that we put more in our landfills is paper than food. It's huge. 40% oh of the food that we produce, we're not eating. 40%, I think that's almost half the food wow. that, that's produced are being thrown away. Nine out of 10 Americans uh, wastefully throw food away on a regular basis. And it's all based upon this misnomer of the labeling that we have on our foods. It's really one of the best kept secrets around that the foods, the dates and the foods do not indicate the quality of the food. Um, each, there are different kinds of label guidelines, but for the most part, there's only one food that's federally mandated to be uh, labeled as a date, and that is infant formula. And, infant formula. And the rest of the foods are arbitrarily just dated by the manufacturer uh, for their use and for the retailer's use to help them with their product sales. Well, let's take a look at these different labels and what they are and what they, what they really are what the definition of them is. The first one would be the sell-by yes. label. Sell-by is it's generally intended for the retailer and who needs to sell the product by the date stamped on the product and then they want to rotate it. The whole idea is to keep them so they're selling fresh products out there. So that's a retailer number. The, if you have that and it says sell by and you have it on yourself, it still has one third of its life still left. Wow, one third of its life. So it's, it, it's a shame to throw it away at that and that's what usually people say sell by and they throw it away. Hmm. It still has one third of its shelf life left at sell by. So how about best buy or best before? This indicates the date of the foods, uh, that the date that the food's quality starts to diminish. It's actually its peak date. When is at its peak ready to be eaten? And after this, like a banana that gets uh, spots on it. Mm -hmm. So that would be after its peak date. Oh, hmm, well, my husband says that's when they're the best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the food is still good um, after its peak date. All right, so sell by, you still have a third life yeah, left. Yes. Best buy, it's at its peak point, so it's time to eat it, right. but it's still got time to have it eat it. How about the use by label? Um, this is the recommended date of use of last use of the product. Uh, it may have a different meaning depending upon the type of food it is, but usually that's the date you want to discard it. After that date, you can use it up to and on that date, but after that date, you need to discard. I think I've seen that maybe on some, um, like some deli foods, mm -hmm. used by date, some uh, uh, lunch meat type things. So you want to pay a little bit closer attention yes. to that because it may have a little weird smell or taste after that point. Right. All right. And then finally, how about the expiration date label? That's the hard one. That's the one that's hard and fast. That's when you should just throw it out. That's the, the, the final date that it should be used or should be eaten. So if it has expiration date of this today, you need to get rid of it, that's, it's done. Sounds like that, that list that you just gave us would be good to even just put on, on your refrigerator door or, or in, in one of your cupboards so that when you look at these products and go, what did that mean again? That's right, so we have sell by, the best by, use by, and expiration, but they are not all interchangeable. They are not, and they're all different on different products. There's, there's no consistency. You have to be very careful and you have to look at it. Another thing you need to make sure you do is you need to be responsible. Take a look at that product and smell it, look at it. Is it usable or not? You use mm -hmm. a little common sense with your choices with that. Another thing that's important to do if you wanna make your food last longer, particularly foods that are re refrigerated, set your refrigerator at 34 degrees. Oh. 
If you set it mm. higher than that, you will lose your, your produce particularly quicker. Mm. Uh, there's a rule in place that uh, from you, there is a two to six increase in bacterial growth for every 18 degrees that you increase the temperature. Really? So look at where your settings are in your refrigerator and put it at 34 degrees and your food will last longer. What a simple thing that you can do to make things so much better. How many of us don't even think about that? Right. I have a tendency to adjust it based off of if my carrots are frozen or not. Yeah. It's probably not the best way to <laughs> <No>. do it. <laughs> All right. Always great information from Dr. Trudy Pieper. Special information on your food labels. Now, if you want to go back and watch this again, don't forget that we have this and the other health segments on our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com. I want to take some notes and remember if that food item in your cupboard is something you can eat for a few weeks from now or if it's something that you really do want to throw in the trash. But let's be better stewards of our food and remember what we have in our cupboards, what we have in our refrigerators, and try to use those before we have to throw them away so we can always be thankful for the food that God has given us. For more information on Dr. Trudy, you can look up her website or check out her practice in Johnstown, Ohio at Phoenix Wellness in Johnstown. All right, that does it for us on this segment. Back to you.